Welcome to the third video on CSS. Today we're going to look at how to do multiple selectors and essentially how to write a rule for more than one element. So let's go ahead and open up our source that we used from the last video. And you can see right here we did the H1 selector which went against the header tag, h1 header tag. And we also set up a rule for the paragraphs in our HTML document right here. And of course that went against our two paragraphs. Now this is just a rule for one element, but you can actually add multiple selectors to that rule. And so that's what we're gonna do in this video. So let's close this out and go ahead and look at it before we do that. And you can see right here, we've got this nice purple background on the h1 header. But what if we want to add it to the H2 header right here? Well, that's pretty simple. So let's go ahead and open this up again. And you just put a comma here and put in H2. And we'll save this again. And we'll go into our HTML document. And there you can see, with just one rule, we've applied that to multiple headers. The H1 right here and the H2. Now, let's say you wanted to add pink text to this but you didn't want to add it to both of the headers. We can go ahead and do that too. So let's go open up the source and we will make a new rule because we didn't want to apply this to the H2 header. So we just come down here and remember to change the color of the text. You just type in color, that's all it is. And we'll put in pink as the value. Now we will remove the H2 header because we didn't want that touched. And we'll go ahead and save this. And there you can see we've got our pink text just for the H1 header. So again, you can apply different properties in other rules to an element. Okay, so that's how that works. I will see you guys in the next video.